Hi y'all, I'm Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a try on of a few things I picked up from Lane Bryant, primarily jeans and pants. Most of them are in a size 3840. This is the largest size that Lane Bryant sells. Does that work for me? Does it not work for me? We're going to find out. So in toward sizing, I'm generally a size 6 on the bottom and I'm a little bit big for the, for the size 6. In my top portion, I can wear generally a 5 or a 6 because I have a little bit of an unbalanced body and I have a great big booty that makes it hard for pants often to come up all the way around and get to my waist. Uh, torrid jeans typically don't work for me, so I've been exploring the 3840s at Lane Bryant. The 3840 is generally larger than Torrid size 6, and sometimes it's a little too big for me, which is a whole new feeling that I'm not accustomed to. So in the comments uh, recently, I've seen a couple of folks remark that things are too big for me, but y'all just keep in mind, I'm trying these things out a lot of times for the first time, so we're seeing them together. And yeah, some of them are going to be too big, some of them are probably going to be too small. So we will find this out together. I am 5'4". I wear a size 48D or a 50C bra generally, sometimes a 46 double D. And I've already mentioned my other sizing, so let's just jump into this video and see what we have to find. I also wanted to note after seeing some of this footage and knowing how I feel today that um, I definitely have low energy in this video. I have not been feeling well for a few months, and even though my gastroparesis is doing better, I am desperately in need for my next um, IV immunoglobulin therapy treatment that I do every couple of weeks, and I am extremely exhausted today, but I've been having trouble getting videos out to you guys, especially because of the daylight hours being so limited. But uh, please pardon my lack of energy. It's not because I'm not excited to be with y'all today and doing this try on. It's just because I'm quite exhausted. So I will try to give a health update in a separate video coming up soon. Okay, y'all. So the first pair I'm trying on is the authentic straight ankle in a 3840 mid rise. The original price on these is $89.95. I'm sure I mentioned in the introduction that I picked these up on clearance, I think all of them, but one or two I picked up on clearance, so they would have been $14.95-ish. When I picked them up um, back before the turn of the year, so even though they say they're a mid-rise, in my experience with a lot of the Lane Bryant jeans in this particular size, as you get a little more than a mid-rise, I am accustomed to having pants not come all the way up around my booty and these are pretty close. If you had an apron belly in the front, I'm not sure how accommodating they would be. There is a little bit of room for some stomach. Um, I probably also mentioned in the introduction and I've mentioned in previous videos that I had a paniculectomy now about a year and a half ago. So I have still a little prednisone pooch but I don't have a long hanging belly like I used to, but I certainly try to think about that with the fit of these clothes and especially the pants and how accommodating they would be. There is a little bit of room in the front, but not a ton. So I suppose saying mid-rise makes, makes some sense, but you definitely get more than what I would expect out of a mid-rise pair of pants. So enough jibber-jabber, let's take a look. The next look I'm showing you is in fact an entire outfit from Lane Bryant. Some of these items are still available, some of them are not. I find that the clothing at Lane Bryant goes out of stock really quickly, so I'm not sure how much they keep on hand in the larger sizes, but I do want you to see what's available even if it's no longer in stock because I think you should check their new releases on a routine basis if you are an avid shopper 
like I am and see what you can find. It's new-ish information to me that Lane Bryant has these extended sizes. So mainly I want to advertise to you that these are available, not sponsored, and that the sizes are comparable roughly to a Tord size 6. So if you're in that size range, there are things available from Lane Bryant. So the top item here is the Livy Puffer Front Vest. Um, this is only available in the smaller sizes right now, and it was available also in a burgundy color, which I missed out on, but I did get one from Universal Standard that I will show you guys in an upcoming video. So I closely looked at the photos and read some reviews before placing my order, and I knew to expect that this is puffer on the front, not terribly thick, and the back is more of a smooth, stretchy material. Some of the reviewers were disappointed with this not being quilted front and back, and it's not my favorite, but I think the stretch panel across the back enables more of a flexible fit, especially like someone with a build like mine that's smaller in the top, bigger in the bottom, and when I sit down, my hips get wider, so I appreciate it. And also this material is fleece lined in the back, so it's nice and warm. Um, considering that it's a vest. As you will see when I stand up, this is quite big under the arm, which is normal for me and is something I can very easily have altered. Um, this vest has become a favorite already. I've worn it many, many, many times. In fact, I've already got makeup on the collar and cat hair all over it. So please forgive me if you notice any of that in the video. So the top here is a fitted sheer mock neck mesh top. I picked this up in a 3032. It is still available in all sizes and it's on clearance for $15 and change. Um, I really liked this houndstooth uh, block that this is printed in. I wish the sleeves were a little tighter, which is a common um, request for me. I don't think it would suit everyone and their preferences and build. Um, but that is an easy alteration if I want to take it in and have it done. This does have a small mock neck. It's a little closer fitting, but still perfectly comfortable because it's stretchy. And I was able to get it over my head just fine. The jeans are a mid-rise jogger jean. I also am not sure I would necessarily recommend these. They fit wonderful when they are just fresh out of the dryer, how I'm wearing them today. I've worn these a couple times already, so they have been washed a couple times. These are a Lyocell blend, so they almost have like a rayon type feel with a little bit of stretch. They're very soft and drapey, very, very comfortable. The cuff at the bottom of the leg is just a little bit large, but when I'm wearing shoes or boots, it kind of helps hold it up a little, so it's not a big issue. My reason for not recommending them wholeheartedly is because of how much they stretch. Now, if you are, if you are at the top of their size range and you're picking up the 3840, and have quite a bit of an apron belly. These will stretch out, I think, to accommodate even, an even bigger size. Or if you buy them and they're really small, I think they probably would stretch out. I will show you first the vest and the shirt, unless I have already, and then I will show you the jeans, and then we'll move on to the next outfit.
The next pair of jeans I'm showing you is another pair of these Signature Fit Boyfriend Mid-Rise in the 3840. So I'm conflicted about these pants. I really wanted a nice wide leg jean or a relaxed fit jean in a charcoal smoky faded black kind of look. So I really love the wash. The length of these is great. The waist fits great. And I like the way they fit around the butt and the hip. But I think what I'm realizing is when you buy wide leg jeans that are cut to the proportion where they're still going to be wide leg but made to fit a bigger top of the body or a bigger hip circumference, I think the wide leg ends up being so wide that it just looks skirt-like. So I'm not sure how I feel about these. I'll need to look at the video, see what I think, um, kind of study them in the mirror, see if they shrink in the laundry, and maybe I can make them work. Um, this is a pair that I picked up on sale but not on clearance, so if they're still available, I will let you know on screen. And I will also link them in the description box as always. The next pair of jeans I'm showing you is the Signature Fit Pedal inseam in a size 38-40, and these are a high-rise jean. I didn't notice too much of a difference in the rise of these. They maybe came up half an inch to an inch higher than the mid-rise. I do like the fit of these. I think they'll be great for spring and summer with some sandals or little sneakers. Um, I've worn these around just a little bit in the house, and I have not noticed that they've stretched out, which I really appreciate. Comparatively, these fit a little bit closer than some of the other jeans I've tried on today. And they have a little bit less stretch, but they are still perfectly comfortable. This is another pair of pants that is long sold out, but if I can find something similar, I will be sure to link some of my favorite items down below. Let's take a look. The last pair of jeans I'm showing you is by far my favorite and I've worn them in several recent try-on videos where I'm showing you Torrid clothes. These are the Signature Fit cropped boot flare with a frayed hem and on me, even though these say they're cropped, they're absolutely full length. As long as I weren't wearing any kind of a heel, I've worn these jeans numerous times. I've worn them outside of videos. I've washed them several times already and they've really held up nicely. If I could find this same fabrication in another cut, I would like to give them a shot. One of my personal fit issues with Lane Bryant is a lot of the jeans are just way too long. So I end up trying some of these from the clearance section just to see what I can find and if anything works for me. So I probably need to try some more of the closer fit um, and not the boyfriend jean, which seems to be what I'm visually drawn to with the wider leg and the cropped or rolled up fit, but they, uh, they definitely seem to be a little too roomy for my build. Let's take a look at these flare jeans and they'll probably look familiar to you if you've seen any of my last videos.
The next look I'm showing you is another outfit. Um, the pants are the straight fit skinny in a 3840 mid-rise. Um, these are in kind of a russet brown, uh, orangey brown color. These also were on deep, deep clearance for quite a long time and I finally picked them up. Some of the reviewers complained about these being too close fitted on the calf. They are definitely a little more fitted on the calf even for a skinny jean and on me they're a little bit big in the waist. They'll be fine as long as they don't stretch out but if I lose any more weight they are probably going to have to go on my Poshmark. I do quite like the color. The top is the Livy long sleeve velour hoodie. I picked this up in black. This is extremely stretchy, very soft. It's a little softer on the outside than on the inside, which is which is kind of typical for this type of material. So that wasn't a big surprise. On me, the sleeves are a little bit long and a little bit big, but generally this is a great uh, casual wear item. It would look cute paired with a vest or worn just by itself as is. This uh, color is sold out in the extended sizes but they do still have it in a really pretty red color as well as like a peacocky teal green. There is white still available in the 3436, but not in the 3840 if it's something that you're looking for. Um, this is currently on sale for $23.98. I think that's about what I picked it up for on a pre-Christmas sale. I think I'll probably keep this because it's nice and soft and it's a good length for my preferences. Now I will say the reviews, um, some of them say, that this shirt has a tendency to shed. I haven't noticed that yet, but I also haven't washed it yet. This is actually my first time wearing it. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. If I launder this before I end up posting the video and I notice any fluff gate, I will be sure to leave that in a pinned comment or in the description box. So the next shirt I am showing you was a little bit of a fail for me. I don't like the way it looks in person and I definitely didn't like the way it fit. So this is a blouse, like a chiffon um, actual button up shirt. It has a little ruffle down the front. If I was able to find this still online, I'm sure I'm including a photograph. Um, this has like a nice full sleeve and comes down to a cute button cuff. The um, cuff was a little big for me as usual and the hips were not accommodating enough for my build. So I'm always kind of perplexed at what size I am with this company. Kind of same as ordering the size 6s from Torrid. I never know if it's going to fit or not going to fit. Um, blouses are usually an issue for me. If I were still working in office and I needed clothes, I might keep this to wear with a suit tucked in. Um, but I don't quite like the color of purples that are in this. It's pretty, it's just not what I wanted. This also retails for $69.95. I'm sure I picked it up for less than that, but it's definitely not a blouse that's worth that kind of price. I know prices everywhere are going up and inflation in the United States and probably around the world is a real issue, but 70 bucks for a basic chiffon shirt um, that you could kind of pick up at Shein for 15 it seemed a little bit excessive. So I hope companies that are marking up prices just to mark them down in sale will quit doing that. Um, this price is just not reasonable. So anyway, um, this has a banded collar, um, a yoke in the back with a little bit more fullness, a shirt tail hem. It didn't work for me. So I'm not gonna bother trying it on and showing you something that doesn't fit properly.
Okay, y'all, that concludes today's video. What did you think? I think there were a couple of hits, a couple of misses. Um, I think I'm really gonna have to reevaluate this jeans situation and what my eye might be drawn to that in the smaller sizes does not translate to the way that I want it to look in my size. The legs and body of some of these jeans were quite a bit too big for sure today, but I don't want to be relegated to just having to wear skinny jeans, which I do still like, but I don't wanna have to wear those and that's it. So I think I'll play around with the jeans at Lane Bryan a little bit more and explore the sizes and the various fits. And I think a lot of the ones I've wanted to try are not on sale. So I'm going to have to bite the bullet and check these out and be prepared to do some alterations as needed. But as I say in most of my videos, even though there were some hits and misses, we live to shop another day. So I certainly am excited for my next shopping trip and I will be sure to bring you along for the ride. Hope you're having a great winter and I will see you in my next video.